Looking for that perfect game for your gaming console? Video Game Corner is the largest independently owned video gaming store in North Mississippi, located at 1519 Highway 72 in Corinth. We are an authorized limited run retail store and have a massive collection of retro games and game systems and also plush toys and collectibles. We also pay top dollar for your used video games. Check them out Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Visit Video Game Corner in Corinth. Hello ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'm your host, Airsoft Allen. Welcome to another Media Reviews. Today we take a look at a fan fiction that I discovered by accident from this one author. This one author was doing a Harry Potter fan fiction that I was looking at for possibly review, but then I found out that this guy does a ton of others. However, the sad thing is that a lot of his stuff does repeat and does have a little bit of everything else and even does uh even does a naruto multiverse one but it's mostly just reacting to his stuff instead of actually trying out new and interesting ideas uh but i digress what we're here to talk about today is one of his works is of course a naruto x resident evil and i said resident evil because i use the blanketed term of resident evil instead of just the specific fandom however it is it Uzumaki Dimitrescu, and dear God, does this one actually present a cool fucking idea? And the idea, ladies and gentlemen, is what would happen if Naruto was the somewhat so many grandson of Albert Wesker. I don't like where this is going. Yes, you are right, the grandson of Albert Wesker, and apparently tons of other stuff in this that, dear God Almighty, is just a mess. But it, but it's one of those fun messes that you keep reading just to see where it goes. It is not a train wreck, it's just a mess. So, the big thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that the story is that Lady, Dim Lady D, Lady Dimitrescu, uh, finds Naruto, adapts him, makes him his own, makes him her own, and basically all this other shit. He, in, in the most basic sense, the guy is doing a Resident Evil plotline. However, what is weird is that this whole thing is one big mess that I am trying to understand and decipher, so... Let me just try and break this down as best as humanly possible, and try and make it digestible for you guys to understand in a short, sub-20 minute video. So the whole idea is that Naruto is the descendant of Albert Wesker. He is found by Lady D, is raised by Lady D, is revealed, his exi revealed all this stuff by Lady D and everyone else, and basically is trying to now make a B.O.W. army or something along those lines to basically get vengeance upon the Hidden Leaf Village. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Even going as far as to uh, expose spy ring that should have been dismantled years ago and even pinning an assassination on said spy ring which caused the Hidden Leaf Village to basically go down in reputation. 
I, I couldn't make this shit up. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. I'm sad that I lack the talent to make this shit up. Okay. How does it go off the fucking rails from there, you're asking? Oh, it goes off the fucking rails. Apparently the fire, apparently the Hidden Leaf Village is in the goddamn Fire Nation. Excuse me, what? I wish I was joking on this. Apparently their lord is the Fire Lord and the, and, and, and Korra is there who is the, apparently was supposed to be the godmother of fucking Naruto and was supposed to raise him but was blocked and now because she's got some serious pull with the Fire Lord is gonna try and find Naruto and use that power to basically adopt him, raise him, continue to raise him while at the same time is training the Fire Lord's daughter and her two friends and I'm just sitting here waiting for goddamn Prince Zuko to show up out of goddamn nowhere for some fucking reason I have several questions I'm, I'm, I, I have, I'm not joking on this, this, do you think I'm, you think this is going off the rails? You haven't seen nothing yet, because now we have a female Uruchimaru who, who is apparently fucking worships the fucking, okay, he, he, she, the snake lady worships or at least in a sense, worships Albert Wesker's work as like the next stage of evolution, and then of course we have Naruto, who apparently is extremely fucking smart, who is then using his grandfather's work to try and, like I said, create a BOW army, and then now he's in the fucking, in the fucking current chapters and the fucking final exams, and then Apparently during the mist, uh, apparently during the bridge building arc, he he basically was went in there with his BOWs and and killed everyone and, and is using him as fucking this and that and it's just like, look, I'm I am. Explain, explain, explain. Look, I'm not saying it's convoluted. Believe me, it is. And, and basically, the guy's pulling out all sorts of crazy shit over here and throwing in his own goddamn tropes and cling fem and cling. Fucking sexy B.O.W.s for some ungodly fucking reason, I don't understand. Look, what I'm saying is, to the author, the only things I have to gripe about this is that you repeat yourself a lot. I mean, you really do repeat yourself a lot in the dialogue. You shouldn't be doing that. We get it. We understand this. The characters should understand what the fuck is going on. What I'm saying is that you're starting to write yourself into a fucking corner. What you could have done, what you can do, is that you can make it, because in the story, Naruto now has his own corporation. Ada Wong and Hunk is now going to be a part of that fucking corporation. The BSA has given them a time limit before they basically come in and bring good old-fashioned goddamn freedom like any other fucking American unit does. So here's the thing. If Naruto wanted revenge on the Hidden Leaf Village, here's what he could do. He could basically cause a localized outbreak. I'm not saying the levels of fucking Raccoon City. Don't get me wrong, Raccoon City was a horrible thing, but basically localized outbreak that targets specifically chakra users. At that point in time, he can basically begin inserting, asserting control into the Hidden Nations by presenting a vaccine, a cure, so the virus that targets the chakra users did not affect them. But at the same time, inserting control chips into them, so that way, if, if the storyline you went with, the fact of the Hidden Leaf fucking uh, Hokage and uh, Jiraiya, who was trying to basically get Naruto so he could basically wibbity bubbity his mind so that he could be so that he could be his pawn. Basically, that doesn't happen. And in the most literal sense, any time they try to come after him, he could literally have a nation completely and utterly loyal to him by literally having a mind control chip in the system. That's all I'm saying. But again. <laughs> Your story, you can do whatever you want. All I'm saying is that the only thing that is 
that is hurting this thing is your repeat and, and the constant repeat of dialogue. Don't get me wrong, it's a good story. It's it's convoluted the way Resident Evil is convoluted, but still fun. Still a little weird about the female BLWs. Don't internet, don't, don't tell me why. Internet, please, I don't wanna know. But all I'm gonna say is this. I look forward to the next chapter, and I do wanna see where this goes. I am still waiting on a zombie outbreak, because if the Whiskers are known for one thing, is they make zombie outbreaks happen, and they have cool fucking firearms. Just saying. So please, just let it be the Hidden Leaf Village. Let it be targeted specifically to the Jocker users if you have to. But for the love of God, we are waiting. I am waiting. I am waiting specifically for an outbreak to happen. Because believe me, if you want the biggest middle finger from God ever, zombie outbreak, baby. That's how you get a big middle finger from God. Is basically, you think everything's going fine, the next thing you know, your neighbor's eating your other neighbor's face off and is trying to make you into their next dinner. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, if you guys want to read this one yourself and leave your own thoughts on it in, in the author's comments section, down below is the Wattpad link. There is a fanfiction.net version, but I'm slowly pushing away from fanfiction.net because, honestly, it's starting to lose my interest. But, either way, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I've been Airsoft Al, and if you'll excuse me, I'm probably going to add a lot of Resident Evil games to my Christmas list this coming December. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al, and I shall see all you lovely people in the next video. And if you want to help support the channel and future reviews, consider donating to the PayPal down below. It's folks like you that actually make these reviews possible and the content we produce possible. So if you want to help improve the content, again, consider donating to the PayPal down below. And uh, see you all in the next one. Till next time.